Any other answers? Sorry. Okay, I'm going to the next question. How to replace even or all tradition with start here in the data? So we can do with this article. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm guessing this article is the right answer. But how are we gonna resolve it? Because if someone in the interview asks, how are you going to do it, right? At least we need to have some I pseudo agree. code or something. Right, I agree, I agree. Because if I say only sort utility, he'll say, okay, go back home. <laughs> I agree with you. But we have to see okay. what is correct, right? So now yeah. 77 here, we could not able to answer. So better we have to search. <laughs> so going to the next question. Oh, Venkat, sir, I have only one question. Uh, is it possible to find out the position of a string via smart utility? Uh, no, we have to see that. Which is your name? Yeah. We can use a subscript for that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because it's a display, right? We cannot use indexes. So we have to use a subscript for that, I think. In COBOL 20, uh, 2D array having employee ID. How can you print a report having each employee ID in corresponding name? So, yeah, we can. Uh, is an array right so we can use a subscript for that for the display purpose in fact you can use index also why yeah. only subscript you can no, but you index cannot only display. use for display purpose right no 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 all right when you're saying that index cannot be used okay see you, you cannot display the index, index variable value you cannot display index variable value but you uh -huh. can display content of the array but for the content to display the content of the array, you need to have a subscript or group ID, right? Uh, okay. Not sure on that. Okay, fine. No issues. Sell. Okay. Any other answers? Was there us? We can start the array and then print according. Should I be? Come again. We can start the array first and then. Um, Use the particular index like perform varying and then uh, keep on printing. There's remain the index. Okay. So we can process one by one now, like, just like a record. Then we can move to working storage field. Then we can use that working storage field for the report. Okay. Like just like how you process one by one, right? Yeah, it can be done. So by using index, like, like you can read first, second, third, fourth, so on. Then you can move to the respective uh, working storage field. Yeah, correct. It makes sense. Yeah, the next question here. I have two files. I want to join them on customer ID and I want to create. Yeah, you can read yourself. I'm sorry. Hey, sorry. So uh, we can use sort utility. Join, join. Join. We use full outer join for this. Join keys actually. Yeah, join. Yeah, join. Yes. 
Okay, sorry. Yeah, let us consider the first ten bytes as customer ID. So actually, they are asking the syntax. I think so. <laughs> syntax. Okay. Uh, using reformat we can do it uh, one second just reformat yeah. yeah reformat like join we can use join keys we can use join join keys we can use for join join and pair dash join one and f2 i think that should be the yeah anuj please go ahead yeah i think this can be done this since uh, this question yeah. demands you know full yeah. outer join and full outer join is uh, like join and you can have to define like join key means f1 and then uh, the field on which you are you know uh, joining the keys on uh, and then join and pair f1 f2 and then reformat fields that's how it should be achieved correct so with we have with unpaired f1 f2 also we can give unpaired both if we Uh, F instead of F one F two, there are two ways. But yeah, whatever you said, unpaired F one F two is the right okay. one because okay. yeah, that has been okay. considered as full open. Both also yeah. you can use. Correct. Both also you can use for that. So I am skipping the one. You have a cover to read some Q. It is related to yeah, where? But I'll let me. so you should work on this type of the project then you can give the right answer but still if anyone having experience on the similar no scenario idea. no idea of mq okay so moving to the next question so this one uh, you can give the answer sorry right same question right right match record match link it's again repeated like uh, using join keys we can do this okay yeah. done but so this question is again let me skip it what was the question venkat on condition parameter okay kya cross space constraint okay so the replace option you can use here right yeah inspect telling replacing leading and replacing option you can use okay inspect leading and trailing yeah leading and trailing you can use yes uh just just one minute uh, can someone tell me uh, inspect trailing syntax or something i mean I, i i have an idea but i'm not sure i think there is no such thing like a trailing inspect i think uh, we need to reverse it and then uh, try for leading yes. you need to use function reverse uh i have heard that inspect trailing is there i am not sure because i am not tried but i have heard it from many people so if anyone has any idea about inspect trailing please it's just like a leading uh, it's just like how we remove leading spaces right just then you can give you know trailing spaces yeah, you want to the, remove that i got the concept yeah i, I got the concept uh that it will uh, you know count the trailing spaces and it will uh, give you the count uh, anyone has any idea, idea about the syntax i could not find it on google actually okay i'll try to give it to us i'll share with you that okay it's better to refer ibm uh, website whenever you are looking for syntax right it it will be correct and like uh, you will get accurate one okay thank you uh yeah by using so id camps we can do that uh we can also use eb edit yeah id camps we can do that 
hopefully we can use uh, any cams. This catalog. Compare you can also use compare. We can use, we can also use list catalog, right? List cat gives the attributes. We can we can use ID cams and uh, print. If uh, written code of that step is four, mm -hmm. then it 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 means it, means yeah, yeah. it, it is a empty. Even we can use ice tool also. We can use ice tool. Also, I still also there is empty, no empty we use okay. print uh, project okay fine so on the similar line so after uh, I'll ask one more question which I got earlier there is a visa file okay so there are few lines inside a few records are inserted few records deleted updated so how we know how many records are inserted how many records are updated and deleted from that particular visa file i hope you got my question there is a visa file in that we have inserted some records later at some point we deleted later at some point we updated we did some operations on that file now the question is how i know how many records are inserted how many records are updated? How many records are deleted? Uh, using COBOL, right? No, no, no. Using COBOL, how you will get it? So you will get how many I'm records are deleted? From the After file performing of the VZM file. Sorry? From the file attributes of the VZM file, you can know how many are updated, deleted, inserted. File attributes, okay. But that is ERRD3 of SQL. No, 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 no. We are asking visa file, not nowhere. David. Okay, fine. So the answer is list cat. Okay, using list cat, if you try to list cat attribute the information, you can execute later some point against any visa file. You will be able to see how many records are updated, how many records are inserted, or like write them, how many records are deleted. So those three lines will be there when you execute a list cat against visa data set. If you have any additional answer, unless you are good to give. So you say yes or no, okay. So how to update the primary key field in KSDS? Answer is no. Once we create a primary key, as per my knowledge, there is no chance to alter the primary key. So you can do alter uh, key control interval size, control area, that all you can do it, but not primary key. Primary key cannot be altered. If anything, uh, if I'm not correct. Uh, uh, Venkat, you need to be delete that uh, record and then insert that uh, record. Uh, that is what you're talking about. I mean, they're talking about, okay, content of the key field or they're asking alter the key field size the again question is different i have answered but the question let's say there is a primary key i want to increase the size five to six or i want to change the primary for that in that context in that view i have answered if in your view is different please you correct uh, you can give me the answer you are right when uh, one more thing beside this ksds data set uh just one more question uh, addition um, related to that can we alter the primary key of table? 